remember, here, here's a guitar that we're all familiar with, a dreadnought shaped. Uh, these are generally referred to as flat top guitars because the top is, you guessed it, flat. Although there is a slight arch. A good maker will put a slight arch in, in, into the top. And the same with the back. There's a slight arch. Some of the old guilds had even a more pronounced arch. Guilds a fine guitar, excellent guitar. <laughs> Flat top guitars have been in existence for hundreds of years. And here's a classical guitar. And these date further back than, than the steel strings or the arch tops. It's been guessed that uh, the guitar acquired its sixth string about 1790, 1800 or so. Now we know that uh, guitar was originally from Europe and the Spanish had a lot to do with it, but we had a maker come over from Austria, C.F. Martin, and uh, Mr. Martin built little flat tops and started a company called Martin Guitars and just, and they're wonderful instruments as you know. utilize a flat top. Now this is a classical guitar. Its design became formalized about 1860-1870 with uh, the Torres design. The bodies grew a little bit bigger and standardized. The string length was standardized to about 650 millimeters, about 25 inches, about that. <laughs> 